I was trying to not be the standardized cheese penis, and that is everybody's doing like a throwback deal, like every, and famous people and all this kind of deal. And so, I don't know, we're like, listen, let's play a couple old air checks from back in the day. Throwback Thursday, just once. Well, then Manson loved it so much. He's like, let's keep it going. And I said, well, okay, well, we'll keep it going. We did it for like two or three weeks. And then it kind of got cumbersome and embarrassing, if you will, when stuff like this comes out. And so then I, I think two weeks ago, said, okay, after every throwback Thursday, when the listeners are finally over this and they think it sucks, like I do, after every throwback Thursday, I'm going to go to the phone lines, one triple eight six nine bubba and ask them to vote it down. Well, I've been defeated two weeks in a row. This <laughs> might be this one might be so bad that it's good for me. 103 on KTFM Expose and come go with me, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, don't, and I sounded like a fat guy back then, didn't I? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like Don Rickles, like a, like a 400-pound Don Rickles. <laughs> you dare go anyway without coming with Howie, baby, okay? 56 minutes of San Antonio's hottest hits and White Snake from Ingram Mall next. Man, how do you go from expose to White Snake? <laughs> the cold boys got something to say. Music means hot 103 KTFM. Boy, Manson, I could never break it down and talk here. It was just a continual no, it, deal. It really is. It sucks. <laughs> Man, if I was you guys listening, I'd be on the verge of almost turning the radio station, and then I would call up and say, before I, t- I'm never going to listen to your show again if you continue this throwback Thursday stuff. It's horrible. You sound like you're pinching a Lizzo for in this one. I do. I'm the love sponge of the nighttime, baby. It's still daylight out, so. I was 6 to 10. Yeah, I was 6 to 10. Yakking it and smacking it for the girls at the Ingram Park Mall. And Full meal deal, yakking it and smacking it. 57 minutes of San Antonio's hottest hits. Here I go again, baby. You and I and White Snake from the hot one. San Antonio's only FM. 103 KTFM. 103 hot KTFM, San Antonio's only hit music station. Bubble. Remember this song? She, fine Young Cannibal. She drives me crazy. Remember this? She drives me crazy. She drives me crazy. In the nighttime at this hour. So much poop going on, baby. And all I'm doing is just promoting, like, what we got going on at the station and tickets and just a bunch of nonsense. So much poop going on. <clears throat> we got so much poop going The only poop is the one that I'm holding at bay right now. Because it wants out. <laughs> 57 minutes of San Antonio's hottest hits. <laughs> Three eighth dollars a winner and Spurs tickets and lots of them. Oh, yeah, this station. Let me tell you this, Manson. This station here had a whole prize department, right? Yeah. And literally every eighth caller was a winner. And so the phone lines were nonstop all day. And all they did would get would give out like movie passes and like six packs of Coke really? and like oh nonstop. Nonstop. Madonna, dead or alive, Tone Loke and new kids on the block from the South Side, baby. But you be driving the South Side. Like the South Side's gonna want to hear new kids on the block. It'd be crazy from the fog, young cannibals. This is Baba. Who's this? I'm going to end this relatively quickly. Arlene. What? You really yelled into the phone. This is Baba. Eileen, how you doing? Just fine. Because I had to poop. <laughs> Just fine. Eileen, can you act a little more excited, maybe? Oh, yes. I've been trying all day. Well, okay. I'm sure I'm glad. But anyway, baby, you're calling number eight. You won two movie tickets to go see the Dream Team. Okay, baby? Oh, good. Okay, now. I sound like a creep. <laughs> Calling people baby. This kid was probably 14. I want you to say, yippee yo ob up shabam really loud, okay? Oh, please, no, don't. <laughs> what did I say? Yippee yo ob she, she, Even this little 12 year old knows that ain't cool. She, this little 12 year old knows that you're not supposed to be saying that stuff. <laughs> Bubba shabam, Bubba's got a big one. Come on, hurry, say it. Oh my God. Bubba's got a big Yippee yo ob up shabam, Bubba's got a big one. It's not a wonder the Texas authorities didn't come out and lock me up right then. <laughs> I hope Grady's not listening. Yippee yo! I hope there's a statue of limitations. On charges, man. I hope there's a statue of limitations on asking a kid to say that you got a big one. <laughs> and I must not have had Jeff McCartney, my program director, must not have been listening that night, Madsen, because I mean, what program director could could want their twenty two year old night jock asking a fourteen year old to tell him he's got a big one? None, zero. <laughs> <laughs> KTFM. <laughs> so she just shortened it. Even that little kid know. Man, this guy's trying to be a creep. My mom warned me about people like this. What's he talking about? I think about? this might be a bad touch. This might be a bad verbal touch. <laughs> Such a serial killer. I give like a John Gacy type. <laughs> yeah. Sick clown laugh. The favorite station, Eileen, that you chill to be ill every night with, Levin. That you chill to be ill. KTFM.
103 hot cake. Right, I've heard enough. That's it. Yeah, I'm, 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 there's three minutes left. It was worth the wait for that last call. It's three. There was three. There's three oh, minutes left. On. No, we're not. I'm done. I'm done. Exe- executive decision here. Hey, Papa's no. got a big one. <laughs> can, Papa's got a big one. Listen, you little twelve year old. I want you to say yippee yo, old Papa Shabam. Papa's got a big one. And the kid so creeped out. She goes, uh, KTFM. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, keep your movie tickets. My mom and dad warned me about people like you. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh uh, Uncle Elbud at the family reunion acts like you, and I haven't been able to go back ever since. I heard there's a Macho Man caller at the end of this tape. Oh, I did, and I'm not playing it. <laughs> oh, no. I just threw the. T- I just threw. It. You're gonna have to come up here and find it then, because I just threw it. Oh, threw yeah, it where? Yeah, seriously, come here. I threw it as far as I could. <laughs> he threw it. Oh, here it is, right? Oh. Here. Hold on. There's a Macho Man. Come on. You guys, I can remember. It was a guy from Terre Haute named Marty. <laughs> And I used to, and he used to think that he did the best. Listen, when we were growing up, didn't we all think we had a good, some type of impersonation of some kind of deal that ended up in, in the latter years just sounding? I mean, man, so I'm sure that you probably cringe at some of your impersonations yeah, of back course, in the day. Do you know? Of course I do. Oh, God. Maxwell Music means. I'm going to try to find it. I do 25. Oddly enough, it's so bad right. that I remember it. Like it was yesterday, and how bad it is. It's horrible. You know what? We'll end on that note, okay? We'll yeah. cer- I mean, please make me not to play. We'll end on the Macho Man impersonation, and then we're done, okay? Okay. <laughs> 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 Last night we called Hulk Hogan up. That's right, we caught him up live on the air. Tonight we're going to call the man that Hulk Hogan wrestled on last Sunday. It was WrestleMania five, and Hulk Hogan. And really, I'm trying to even spin this off like it's real, like it's like that's that's how that's how honest to God, how sickening this really is. And I'm trying to pull this off like it's real, and it's just it's you know what, this is very embarrassing. And you you have to find it in your heart. When I go to the phone lines next, you have to find it in your heart to say, Bubba, no, we don't want to hear this anymore. This is ridiculous. The B96 stuff was all right. The KT, the, but the, the KTFM stuff this is the what it just was, has turned us off. There's nothing. There's nothing that's going to keep us around. This is horrible, Bubba. Please, yes, you can cancel. Some beaches, man. Well, I guess first of all, we should probably say that we're uh, for some- wait. Great phone line system, huh? Or you got B. Randy Macho Man Savage. Are you there, big guy? Oh, yeah, I'm right here in life. Sounds like a <laughs> drunk ass hillbilly that's. Constipated. Hey, yeah. yeah. So what's happened? We're sorry that you got beat, but uh, you know Hulk Hogan's just a better man at this point, don't you think? Huh? Well, you know, love sports right now. I really don't need to hear this kind of stuff. Yeah, let me <laughs> <laughs> tell you what. Just... I mean, Macho Man's rolling in his grave right now. Matter of time, yeah. yeah. Macho madness rises again. Yeah. Yeah, Macho Man. Yeah, I think you're pretty cool and stuff, but. You know that the best part of you is your other half. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that tramp, Elizabeth, yeah. Tramp. <laughs> Knife and me behind my back and joining up with Hogan. Both of them going through the back door on the macho man, yeah. Yeah. I don't even know what the hell the guy's saying. What do you always say? Yeah. Macho man, you know, I am a big fan of yours and stuff, but, you know, I heard. Now, Hulk Hogan told me last night that if he comes back in town, that I'm going to wrestle me and Hulk Hogan. I'm, I'm Bubba the Bull. Boy, that, man, that's a, uh, quite the projector there. <laughs> you me and Hulk Hogan hooking up. Don't break your love sponge. You know that, don't you? Anyway, me and Hulk are going to tag you and Rick the Stick. Now, what do you think about that, huh? You want to get your butt beat again, huh? What do you think, Macho Man? Tell me. <laughs> you people that are listening to the show. Yeah, I think they're going to vote it down. Yeah, thank song. you. <laughs> Manson, you've been defeated. I can almost feel it. I can almost feel it. I can almost feel The entertainment value to this is absolutely you're zero. Lu- you're lucky you played the macho, man. I, I almost can feel I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I even have to go to the phone lines. I mean, Manson's almost like just defeated, like just almost <laughs> threw in the towel without even having to go to the phone lines. Oh, yeah. Sponge, I'll tell you what. Me and my partner, Rick the Stick, yeah. Wrestle you. By the way, Rick the Stick was my competition on, KT, on K, K-I-T-Y, Kitty, I think. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. You guys in the ring and then Bubba and Hulkamania will be dead forever. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, big rock rockin' macho man. I'll tell you what, maybe you and I can join forces and if you let me do the Rambo on your woman, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. You wanna be a real true champion? You wanna leave Hulk? All right, there you go. Wow. <laughs> 
I'm going to I'm going to words. I'll be back oh. in a few minutes. I'll take your phone calls live to end the program. Please find it in your heart to discontinue this throwback Thursday nonsense. It sucks. It's absolutely horrible. There's no entertainment value other than to accentuate how untalented I was. I f- hope you find it in your heart. Manson's over there actually somewhat nervous that I actually might get the six needed to discontinue this segment. We'll go to the phone lines next. Son, I'm just going to tell you this one time. Word on the street says the Bubba Radio Network returns after this.